Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Black Skylands. We are playing as Eva, the young heroine of Legends. Well, not yet, but she probably will be at some point in our quest to deal with the Falcons and discover the mysteries of the Eternal Storm. The developers are still sponsoring this video. A big thank you to them for that. Of course, you guys can find a link in the description down below if you would like to learn more. So in the last video, we managed to get ourselves a new twisted gun. I'll try that one out later. We've conquered a few islands from the Falcons gathered some resources and now I have to go talk to my brother Aaron he wants to send me seven years into the past to take a look at our memories he was like oh you remember the time that, that monster got shot I was there boy oh and this is the true origin story of Kane you killed my Falcon I'm gonna go John Wick on you guys Mostly something the game really wants you to understand is that Kane and this whole Commander Elden guy who shot the monster in the first place really don't get along at all. That's probably gonna become a plot point at some point, yeah? Probably. Is that what you wanted me to see, Aaron? Are you satisfied? I guess he is, because now we have to go and talk to our father. Now the sad thing about our dad Richard is that he's not exactly the most attentive or helpful guy. It's like, oh yeah, you think you found out stuff about the storm, that's nice. We have bigger fish to fry, there's kind of this howitzer that Kane is using to threaten the fathership and we can't go anywhere until we take that out. And you know what, that's actually fair, fair enough. So off we go on another grand adventure, finding a moth's nest. Luma, my little moth buddy, you're going to have friends very soon. So how does this new gun work, I wonder, this twisted rifle? Oh wow, it actually does a pretty good amount of damage with a decent fire rate. It's a little weird because it looks like the bullets are curving, so that's kind of hard to line up, but all right, sure. Harold the Blind Engineer actually came up with something pretty neat. Now this island was really short and easy, no problem at all. All right, plant down the flag and light some fireworks. I'm pretty sure that's the internationally recognized sign that you've claimed some land, and no one can contest that, ever, right? Oh, wait a minute. This wasn't even the right island I was supposed to go to. I can, okay, you know what? I'm sorry, you said go southwest, I went southwest. Sue me if I conquered the first island I found. Oop, wait, okay, we're paused by a little messenger moth. If someone from Aspia has seen this, help. Well, that's a very good descript message from Oswald the Elder of the Moth Nest. Oh, no! Not Grandpa Oswald! Oh, good lord, this is actually a really big island. This is probably the biggest challenge yet. Right, okay, don't you worry, Grandpa Oswald, I'm on my way! Haha, <laughs> funny. I try coming up here and the game's like, oh, we really don't recommend you come over here, like, at all. Why? Well, okay, let me show you something. So when you're trying to figure out where you need to go next in the game, this up here at the very top is your power level, right? So right now, with all of the equipment I've currently got on my character, we're estimated to have a power level of 502, and our ship power being 495. Um, I don't know exactly how strong this island is, but I do know that coming up to it, it says, uh, well, no, you're not strong enough. So I wouldn't be even a little bit surprised if we need to go and craft some more goodies. Now, with that said, that's not gonna stop me from at least trying. I mean, you never, oh gosh, hello. You never know if these guys are too strong for you until you try, right? Maybe with a little bit of good tactics and good old fashioned gumption, we'll be fine. Oh, there's another swarm monster flying around below. Um, does that mean that we're gonna have to fight a swarm monster? Because that is like the second time one of those has been sighted recently. Makes you wonder if the reason they're saying this place is scary is not because of the pirates, but maybe we're gonna have to have a big boss battle with one of them in the future. I'd really prefer that not to be the case, though. So if you don't mind, how about no? All right, opening up these two gates, what do we find? Oh, it's a bunch of our little moth friends locked up in cages. Well, that's not very nice, nor fair. Now, the whole point of these moths is that they are very good at carrying extremely heavy loads. That's why the earners like them. So I'm gonna free these guys up, and I'm imagining what's gonna happen is they're gonna help us move the debris that is currently blocking the town. Now, that said, I'm pretty sure that there's more debris than three moths can handle. So I'm betting we have to go and free a whole bunch more moths. Is this what I've been reduced to? I'm an awesome 18-year-old airship captain, but instead of being a bug catcher, I'm basically a bug releaser. Yay! This is going on my resume. Oh, there it goes again! Just saying, this is foreshadowing for sure! I've played enough video games to know how this works. I'm letting you see the big scary monster so you wet yourself. Wait, what is this giant thing I found here? It's got a bunch of different symbols on it. I am guessing I rotate them until they either make a certain combination, which is probably this one right here. Circle, square, triangle. 
Man, what kind of dingus just leaves the combination sitting out here? Don't you know you should never write down your passwords? All right, last round of moths going over to the gates. And just as I suspected, working in concert, they should be able to move the debris. Let's head back over to the main town. All right, heave, my little moth friends, heave. There we go. Oh yeah, just drop them down there. I'm sure nobody down below on the surface of the planet is gonna mind. <laughs> hey, it's Grandpa Oswald. What's that noise? Oh, frick me! Okay, uh, now I'm wishing I had gotten some upgrades. I really wish I had gotten some upgrades. Oh no, oh no! Whoa, wait a minute! Whoa, hold on, hold on, wait a second! I wasn't planning on this! Okay, this thing can spit some serious fire. That's a little scary. He also swipes his claws, which he's got to, oh, there we go, about to do. All right, so we either Dark Souls it and just dodge, or we gotta try to time his attack somehow. Um, we can handle this. I do have some problems where I'm gonna run out of bullets, and uh, I might even run out of health. That would be bad. <laughs> Ow, gosh, dang. I'm not gonna lie, though. This um, gun has been awesome so far. Wait, if I just stay here, am I safe? Not quite safe exactly, but close. Woo, that got, that got a little close for comfort. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I just killed a swarm monster. I'm a hero. Although it occurs to me, didn't my brother specifically say that if you kill a swarm monster, it can spawn more? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. So it looks like we've unlocked a whole new town to go and shop in. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe I can finally get some ship upgrades. That would be great. Not exactly the stuff I'm looking for, though there is a whole load of furniture, not to mention some turrets and stuff. I mean, I don't think that the turrets are gonna be an upgrade for your ship. I think what you can do with them is just plant them down in an area and they will defend against any invading uh, pirates. Because that can happen, the islands that I've conquered can get retaken, so maybe this is a way of warding them off? I don't even know, but I don't think it's quite what I'm looking for. Thanks anyway, though, appreciate it. Well, that was a fun little adventure. Um, let's head back home, continue our main quest, but also maybe I can get some upgrades. There's a lot of stuff we need. Let's go ahead and uh, start smelting some additional ores of various different types. I don't really care what. There's other things we can build. Ooh, the ship workshop. Now see, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. So I'm kind of assuming here that I'll be able to start getting some uh, upgrades crafted. Sure, indeed, we can do that. The semi-wooden hull, okay. Better fuel tanks, bigger fuel tanks, blah, blah, blah. Sturdy hold, better engines. That all looks pretty nice. What about guns? Can you give me bigger guns? Yeah, we can get a howitzer. I mean, it does a load of damage, but it fires really slow. Or would you rather have a minigun? That does practically no damage, but fires unbelievably quickly. Honestly, I'm kind of leaning toward maybe just getting ourselves a minigun. Let's go ahead and get that thing upgraded. Uh, something really big is shooting at me. Oh god, is that your howitzer? I am going nowhere near that. You can keep it all you want, Kane. I haven't upgraded enough yet. I just wanted some of this coal. Unless, of course, we think we can just, like, sneak around it by being faster than them. Is it possible to just win by doing this? Because so far, he can't swivel as fast as I can travel. This is hilarious. What's this, buddy? You running away? Are you running away from my tiny little ship? Or are you feeling threatened? You should feel threatened. Coming in for another pass! Okay, actually, he may have outmaneuvered me a little bit. He's using the wind currents to his favor. That's not fair. No, don't do that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm right on your butt, buddy. There goes your big gun. What you gonna do? I'm just riding in your wake. You can't do a dang thing. <laughs> I do not think I'm supposed to be able to take on this ship right now. And yet here we are. This is great. Well, I've boarded their ship. Um, although it occurs to me, I think my ship just got left far behind. Uh, wait a minute. This... Uh, may have been poorly thought out. Wait, how do I get back to my ship? Oh, th that answers the question. You kill everyone on board, and you take over the ship. Hooray! Is there a fast travel option? Oh, thank God, I don't even have to go get my ship back. Ha <laughs> ha, wonderful. All right, well, that was a fun little conquest. So let's see, do we wanna go ahead and buy out a new ship? I mean, I don't see why not. Let's just go ahead and get the needle. I've got some flax, I got iron, I got wood, I got a load of these oil capsules, and it's just a generally better version of the ship, right? There's a whole bunch of other stuff I could buy too. What about like an advanced propeller? Sure, we'll go ahead and get one of those. We could upgrade our hold so I can carry more stuff, better sails. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get a whole bunch of this stuff. This is great. So let's see, I have to assume that we are going to be able to upgrade as long as we're in dock. There's the needle, okay. So assuming that this is the ship that I want, let's swap out a few components. We will use some better stuff. Wait, I need to go to the shipyard itself. Hold on, 
Okay, here we go. So this is now added into the hold, and now we can swap out some components. Oh, dude. Customizing your own airship? Be still my heart, this is too cool. Okay, well, after having had a lot of fun upgrading the airship, we're heading back to the moth nest, and there's this elder lady over here who might be able to tell me about two big ships of earners. Yeah, apparently they do exist in their use for work. Probably gonna need them in some way in order to take on the howitzer, but they were both seized by the falcons. So, means I gotta go do some pirating. Oh boy, though, these islands are real far away. Okay. I could conquer a lot more territory and gather up some more resources, but let's make some progress. Let's go save the mines. Who knows? Maybe in their gratitude, they'll give me free resources. Oh, what is this? Archibald Sparkle is in a desperate situation. Oh, uh, okay. Um, fun fact, looks like that's a different type of resource. I don't think this is normal stone. Pretty sure that uh, this might be granite? If that's the case, it is indeed. That is a tier two resource, which I will be able to use to upgrade even better stuff later. Oh, uh, look, redwood. That's another tier two resource. Yeah, I just spent all this money and resources upgrading my ship, and it seems like I'm already obsoleting myself, but that's okay. Whoa, don't fall off the ship. So I admit that I think I'm getting a little bit distracted with this side quest, but that's kind of how open world games go, you know? You're on your way to a destination, and then all of a sudden, something's happening. What is this? The old people got locked up in cages? Oh, that's just mean. So admittedly, I think I'm now getting sucked into a fairly large side quest, because this island is kind of huge, and it's going to take me a while to fully liberate it, but... I mean, I can't really pass up on the opportunity. Not only are there better resources over here, but also, this place is supposed to be like the primary source of producers of wine in the entire region. And y'all know I'm a bit of a wine snob myself, so if I can keep the wine flowing, I feel a moral obligation to do so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so the old geezer that I'm helping right now, who helps run the island, he just notified me that the Falcons are clearly barbarians because they pair white wine with their red meat. And I mean, who does that, right? And the funny fact is, he's actually kind of right. That is a cardinal sin in the wine world, yet don't do that. So for that reason, and that reason alone, I shall happily purge this vineyard island of the barbarian filth. You know the problem I end up having with all these open world games? It's so easy to get sidetracked, right? Freeing off random islands and stuff, discovering the local center of wine for the region. Uh, these enemies are a little bit stronger. Okay, this could be a bit of a problem, but let's see if we can take him down. Okay, he's a big scary sniper. Oh my god, he can wreck my ship. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, no, um, let's repair, and let's, uh, let's try to approach that a little bit smarter. Yowzas, dude. Well, we have to get through this area anyway if I want to get to wherever the mine is. That's my current objective, so let's just go ahead and clear out some, ha, uh, mines while we're at it, because we might as well. Oh boy, um, the game is definitely getting harder. I'm noticing a definite difficulty spike, and that's because I probably should be spending a lot more time crafting up materials than I am right now. Does that look like a giant mining ship to you? Kinda looks like one to me. All right, I think we found our target. Oh, okay, we actually see someone else putting up a fight over here. Ewing, hi, all right, plenty for everyone. Hey, you got some dynamite. You know, that's actually something that's blocked me a few occasions. Would you mind teaching me how to blow stuff up? Oh god, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll just let you handle this one on your own. Oh, here's the problem. So there's these red tents over here, and apparently the falcons can spawn here, which is a little bit annoying, admittedly. Take those things out, though, and things get a heck of a lot easier. So, Ewing, can you teach me how to blow stuff up? I'm Eva Mills, and I like dynamite. Yeah, okay, I'm betting that's gonna happen here. So we have another Lieutenant of Kang. His name is Mort. He's the one who's all like, Oh, I'm sorry for blowing up your stuff with my howitzer. Yeah, so uh, I'm betting that if we can take him down, we'll learn how to blow things up with TNT. And what I'm talking about is stuff like this. You see these big rocks with TNT next to it? I don't know how to blow those up yet. I've run into several of them. So I'm betting this is gonna be our solution. Oh, okay, I think we found Mort. He's blowing more stuff up. Okay, the guy's a pyromaniac. He's gotta be taken down. He must be stopped, he is a menace. Okay, and he just actually blew me up because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is gonna go over swimmingly. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. I know what to watch for now, we'll be fine. Probably. 
Okay, we've managed to clear out all the enemies. No sign of more yet, though, but at least this uh, island is back under control. Gotta use some old trolleys to get to Mort's lair, but of course there is a problem. Turn on a generator, huh? Uh, okay, sure, we can blast through rubbles. Oh, what do you know? We didn't have to defeat Mort at all. I've got TNT. Oh, uh, there's Mort. Who's trying to get to Mort? Ah, uh, Ziva, you blow up father ship. I don't appreciate that. So let me guess, I'm gonna be dodging howitzer rounds this entire time, is that how this is gonna be? Uh, can we just, yeah, you can just go ahead and die. Thank you, bud. Okay, that was brilliant. Um, right, yep, that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's a hailstorm of nastiness. That's fine. On the plus side, Mord's dumb enough that he'll actually start blowing up his own guys. So I just gotta lead these guys on ring around a rosy over here. And eventually, I think Mord will kill them all. Ooh, aluminium ore. Now see, that's gonna be really useful too. I think that means we've actually unlocked all of the tier two types of resources at this point. So cool, at least we got some good places to farm it. All right, now we gotta reach Mort. This is gonna be a little bit on the tricksy side. The game's definitely getting a little bit tougher. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna kill that ah, sniper, but it's a bit of a hard shot. Ugh on um, moving targets like this, not to mention he hits like a freaking truck. Don't you worry, Mort. I'm gonna get you. We're gonna be good friends, you and I, I promise. What's this? Oh, and over in the top right, you can see that the Hungry Gardens are under attack. All right, they're trying to retake one of my islands. I got 15 minutes to deal with that. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. Yeah, I kind of blame this guy for going nuts and launching the howitzer more than uh, Kane, so we really want to deal with Mort. Oh good, I'm locked inside now. This is a proper boss battle. Oh, this is gonna be fun. What kind of nasty stuff does Mort do? Blow things up? Yep, that's exactly what he do. Whoa, he's a speedy boy as well. Yikes, bud, yikes. It's okay, if all he knows how to do is run around and throw dynamite that's easy to dodge, this is gonna be a real easy boss fight. Especially if I can launch off some explosives of my own. <laughs> he's a slippery little booger though, I'll give him that. He's really good at figuring out where I'm trying to go and running away from me. <laughs> Come here, you little booger. Come here. Almost got you there. We go, and more is down. Okay, and with that, um, I think I've just retrieved the glorious mining ship for the earners. That's kind of huge. Unfortunately, we're not done yet. We first have to get this ship out of here, and uh, as we've already discovered, there's an archipelago of nastiness between here and safety. This little area right over here that kind of looks like Japan. Yeah, that's, oh boy, that's, that's where we nearly died last time. That's gonna be very fun. Or actually, no, I stand corrected. Not this area. This little area right down here, the Icy Hollow. That looks suspiciously like an airship arena. Please tell me I don't have another boss fight already. 31 enemies, strength level 560. Uh, okay. No, 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 this, this should be easier than the last place. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, we can handle it for sure. Gold ore. Ooh, apparently there was something else for me to discover. That'll be nice. All right, we got the big gates open. Now let's go into that suspicious arena and just see if anything's waiting for me. No, completely fine. Okay, I'm a little suspicious, but all right. All we gotta do is just clear out the last of these guys over here on the bottom left and we've got this island. And that should do it, okay. Oh, great, and of course it's not actually over. The Falcons found out and now they're setting up a blockade. Yeah, all right, Airsh oh my God. Right, airship battle time for sure, oh boy. All right, let's see if we can take these guys out bit by bit. Broadside! That eh, doesn't do a whole lot. Make sure you shoot down these missiles whenever they're coming after you, by the way. It's one of the advantages of having the minigun. We're really good at shooting these things down. Oh, there we go. Okay, one down. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Just two more to go. Kind of wish I'd upgraded my broadside cannons a little bit, though. <sighs> Would have been very helpful right about now. Oh, yeah. Don't ever let your weapon overheat when they've got missiles. Bad call. Bad call. One more shot should do it, and there we go. Okay, and now, what, what, what? Now there's a bunch of small things. Oh, good lord. The Falcons don't want to give this one up, do they? Okay, bunch of little guys down, and oh, lo and behold, three more of the biggins. Okay, nope, we've done this before, we can do it again. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Did you know you can reflect shots back in them, by the way? You totally can. Boom! 
And that should do it. Ship took a little bit of a beating toward the end there, but we should be able to patch that sucker up and we're fine. All right, boys, you're free. And at last, another port of safety, Turtle Town. Why is it called Turtle Town? Is it because of the giant turtle underneath us? Okay, so taking stock, I think we've actually made some pretty solid progress today, Eva. You and I, looking good. Uh, we managed to free up one of the really crucial ships that's gonna help us get the resources we need for the earners to take on the hunters. But we're not done. There is a second ship that's supposed to be timber related. We'll have to go get that later. That said, um, I'm feeling a little bit underpowered at the moment. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play for a while. I'm gonna unlock a whole mess of islands. I'm gonna get a little more resources and I'm gonna get a few upgrades. Yeah, how you like me now? Okay, I control a whole lot more. There's still more to conquer. A few islands down here and there. That's gonna have some more resources I need. But we're looking pretty strong. I managed to get myself a little bit of a gun upgrade. And I will say, by the way, this uh, rifle right here, underrated, very, very powerful. We'll see that next time. And at least a couple more upgrades for the Skyship, though I'm trying to find some more resources that will get me the rest of the way. Mostly looking for aluminium. If we can do that, I think we'll be in a really good spot. So yeah, a lot of progress made, but I think this is gonna be a good place for us to end this particular video and in the next one we'll get the second ship and maybe just maybe we'll try venturing into the swarm region if i can get at least a little bit more ship power behind me i think that's completely viable thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and once again thank you to the devs for sponsoring it there is of course a link in the description down below if you would like to learn more about black skylands otherwise i would ask you to hit that like button leave a comment subscribe hit the notify bell and i will see you guys next time